Hi everybody, who are you doing? This is uh, SJ Swana, Swanthi Ji Singh Raman reporting for April 12th, 2022 time about 12.17 hours UDC. So today I'm going to discuss briefly about how the world has transpired and what has gone with this whole situation of Ukraine-Russia war prolonging into second month. And there on we are also going to discuss how things are happening for this whole world. Uh, a lot of different things are going forward which we are not anticipating, which we didn't even comprehend. But things are not into the uh, usual plane of things which are supposed to happen. There's big change coming up. There's a lot of things which are already into pipeline, which is going to take shape in a different way, which we have never expected for humanity. Also, we see how the world is reacting towards the end of pandemic, which is what they so call. And I don't think there is end of pandemic any 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 moment, which is seen at least two three years down the line, because there are a lot of things which are going beneath the surface. So uh, let's quickly jump back to what's going on with Ukraine Russia war. Well, it has dragged down for almost 40 days, and now since February 24th initial launch of aggression from Russia over Ukraine. It has transpired into 41, 42 days and still Russia has not been able to make any major move or major victory over the Ukraine. And Ukraine with the complete strength and backing of NATO uh, in the covert plan and also with other nations, especially Canada, US, Australia, UK, Germany, all are trying to push Ukraine to uh, regain its sovereignty and continue the resistance for the Russia aggression. So what are we going to see, how it's going to pan out, let's quickly roll over. So this is going to be my third video from the original video which I released in January, January, February, then I did it in March, late of March, uh, then I'm doing it in April also. So this is very tumultuous time for this whole world because of this situation is still not resolved and I don't think Russia is in any mood to back off and or back down uh, the other issue is that uh, despite the UNSC and UNHRC voting uh, Russia has still not paid any heed to uh, united call of uh, letting down the aggression and let the Ukraine live its life lead its life I think this is becoming more complicated than being complex and I guess uh, if you look at the whole situation uh, look at the democratic nations, look at the other nations which are trying to form the right alliance or you can say the alignment before the actual World War Three situation is seen before the world. So this is you can call a preemptive strike or you can call it's like a precursor to what is supposed to get built up. And I think Russia took it as a preemptive strike uh, because it was seeing NATO at its doorstep and it saw Ukraine falling into the hands uh, of what is Poland or Austria or other are seen. Uh, whereas uh, NATO was not in a mood right now to go so uh, forward to forge the relationship of uh, taking completely Ukraine in its uh, course. However, things have gone down, spiraled down into the really, really uh, worse situation now. And I think Russia should be backing off. If not, it has already made its mind because uh, time ahead is not at all favorable for the war. War is always very costly. Nobody wants to fight a war in, during this day and time. And you have seen already how the commodity prices have sh simply shot up. You can see the prices of the oil. I think still it's going to spike uh, when the things escalate. So this is a very, very uh, bizarre situation right now. It's becoming very complicated. Uh, on the other hand, if you look at the efforts US and Canada, especially the Western nations are paying uh, to do some sort of uh, alignment getting all the nations together and have people start condemning Russia for its aggressiveness. Uh, I think uh, recently uh, from yesterday, which is April 11th, uh, 2 plus 2 dialogue was opened up by US with the India and uh, Mr. Modi, PM of uh, India, and uh, Mr. Biden, President of the US, had virtual meeting. And still, uh, if you see today, they have not conclusive results of it. Uh, in fact, the U.S. administration has been reluctant or has been avoiding India to directly, uh, squarely blame India for uh, being silent or observant or uh, not condoning this whole thing. And there is something going on beyond what we can comprehend. And I guess the India side has the edge 
over this uh, conflict because it's going to get uh, big deals from Russia, not from the defense side, but also it's getting already the deals from oil. So India is uh, already 2 or 3 percent importer of uh, Russia oil, but I think for last two months since the war started, uh, India has been benefiting a lot uh, by remaining silent or being siding with the Russia on this conflict and not uh, completely siding with Ukraine except the part that it is trying to give some benefits in tidbits as a humanitarian uh, aid or some medical supplies to Ukraine. Uh, it's dumping some of the supplies, but that's not uh, what the actual game is. Uh, if you see the import of the oil, the gain of the oil India is getting by getting ultra cheap oil from the Russia, it's getting much, much more than it's giving. So you could say it's like a trade. So India is doing a trade uh, in this war, as most of the nation do when the war goes on. They all try to get the benefit some or the other way. So uh, Russia is going marching forward and Ukraine right now uh, has always, always been on resistance and has been still telling that all the troops are available. And President Zelensky, if you see all his uh, recent uh, short, uh, uh, his briefs has been that they are prepared, they are prepared for everything and they're going to not make Russia look at easy, like an easy takeaway, like Crimea, which was in 2014-15 build-up. But now uh, this situation from Crimea to Ukraine is looking as a pattern for the Western nations, and they want to align all the democratic nations uh, to now give the final stand. So they want all the democratic nations, whether it's Indonesia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Australia, uh, even uh, to that expect, Pakistan and India. That's why they're opening this dialogue with India, that what are your stakes now? You be clear now or else you stay silent or you are going to be on the other side. India is specifically of interest because the US wants India because a lot of its ID exports are occurring from India. A lot of investments from US is occurring towards India and I think India will, uh, US will take that leverage uh, to uh, pressurize India to either uh, condemn Russia or to stop buying the oil or you know S400 deliveries because S400 delivery from Russia was also a game changer uh, for US India relationship and since then the ST1 clearance Comcasa and S uh, SPAC SPAC has all become useless you know these agreements are carrying no value for India now uh, US is still trying to be silent or somewhat persuasive towards India for some reason it's not opening up exactly what and how it wants India to condemn the Russia aggression and this is something which is going to go on, folks, and I think uh, all the nations, specifically the NATO alliance nations, are going to be very, very observant about how these nations behave now, because this is the alliance, this is the, the final alliance before if things go out of the hand, then we are seeing World War Three ahead of us. I think that is my original prediction. Uh, if you see in June 24, 2019, I predicted hashtag MAY 2020 WW3. So my original prediction was in May or in June 2019, saying May 2020 WW3. So you can go search that uh, under the SGS Rana or it was done from my article post one wordpress.com. So I've been always alerting a, a word ahead of time and I see uh, we are not out of the woods yet and I still see there can be escalation because more worse is yet to come. Okay, moving on with the sun, you can see bizarre scenario with the sun. 2987 has been spraying a lot of uh, CMEs and uh, filament has been busting. In fact, on uh, April 11th, uh, there was a major bust of the filament uh, facing directly towards the earth and it's basically expected on April 14th to hit directly on earth. So we're gonna see a rubber lilies on the north of uh, continent, uh, specifically the America and the Asia continent, we'll see those. Also, we are going to see a lot of different uh, problems because if sun is becoming so active, and it has been very, very active recently, starting from 29th March, where I predicted originally that March 29 onwards, sun is going to behave very differently and it's going to be very active. So all these things are lining up to that extent where uh, I have been foreseeing it, I've been predicting it, folks. Now, all I want to say next is that there are things which are going to take shape now for pandemic for uh, the earth shield for the polar shift and for the eventuality of this war which is going to be very decisive and a month down the line of april it is very very important month to note 
and how this is going to pan out is how we're going to see the world ahead of us which will be for two three years down the line and if not less so i want to tell that this is something which we all got to watch also another thing is uh, there are global ratings going on for gdp all nations are uh, realigning their gdp because there is some recovery now after pandemic has uh, subsided a bit india is already fighting uh, many battles on its gdp it's already downgraded by moody moody is trying to uh, now look at the emerging market uh, of south africa instead of india because see with this uh, us talking big time with the india right now uh, even uh, blinken the uh, secretary of defense has been talking with the india military chiefs that what are your future what are your stakes with this russia aggression and if uh, the us is not able to find uh, india of worth value then i think uh, they may have the change in stance of investors from us investment world shift to south africa which is what i predict ahead okay because uh, if you look at it uh, recently the us administration has restricted all the financial institutions of the us to have any sort of connection with the russia bailout plan or buying the debt of russia and that's one of the biggest thing move which has taken shape in 2 uh, 3 weeks uh, before uh, april 11th but now they're looking at india if india is not going to uh, be cooperative with the us i think sanctions are on the way directly or indirectly and uh, they will move away all the investors from india to south africa because south africa is looking very prominent moody is looking to upgrade it to buy and i think lot of other uh, credit agencies are going to look seriously south africa as an investment forum so shifting from india to south africa or diverging to some other nations is on the cards box you must be prepared for it so uh, moving ahead we'll see how uh, the pandemic uh, with the latest uh, new variant omicron xc has been surfacing around fox i keep telling the same thing again and again uh, you know as long as these pedophiles predators are enjoying multiple host body you will find these pathogens uh mutation circling around the whole globe so you should not be wondering about this is you should take it very normal as if you take the pedophiles and predators population uh, very normal because in india it's a very common thing citing a predator a pedophile is is like every day you see them many of them are there around. and uh, that's why india is also known as a, a rape capital of the world because uh, most of the gang rapes or team work rape sexual battery occurs in india india has been contributing for last 10 years the maximum sexual battery towards the world uh, saga of this uh, sexual rapes and sexual molestation or exploitation or you can say entrapment and enslavement and this is the reason why india is still uh, uh, under the warning of the travel agencies from the us the us has issued last month the travel warning uh, caution towards the india because of this uh, threat of terrorism uh and also the sexual predators which are very active in india in fact the metaphor games of india are so popular that every neighborhood every city is now hosting these metaphor game mafia organized criminals who are racing honking on streets and delivering females at night hours especially at night hours you know especially you will see that i see it around in my in my locality where i live here in my neighborhood which is phase 3b2 sashnagar mohali 1 30 50 miles north of new delhi and i see them every often at night hours they will deliver females so all these uh, ho- racing honking agents uh, trafficking agents will be very active but recently we have a good phenomena because of the election uh, punjab uh, especially in north india punjab has seen change of uh, leadership uh, it has now uh, been under the aap uh, known as amadri party and specifically mr uh, chief minister mr man has been very very prominent has been very proactive in cracking down these criminals so these mafia these organized criminals are the direct in path of uh, crackdown uh, which uh, mr man has been stressing ever since he has taken the office which is a very positive step for punjab i think the organized criminals are quite quite prevalent in here uh, they are doing all sort of scamming from uh, trafficking females girls at night hours racing honking agents they are you can see all around they keep parking their park around somebody else house the impersonators imposters are very popular in punjab punjab is known for that pedophiles and uh, imposters and impersonators it is becoming very popular and lot of phone spoofing is happening uh, in india recently there was a crackdown in uh, delhi gurgaon where uh, biggest uh, call center fraud was seen which were duping the us and canadian citizens using the fake call centers or you can call it the phone spoofing technology where they would simply call the us citizens and fool them uh, befooling them with uh, with something like okay you are under this uh, litigation or you are under this threat you are under this and that so that sort of imposters impersonators have been seen irs I- crs scam is quite common from india 
which uh, the U.S. and the Canadian authorities, authorities have been uh, cracking down on India, uh, uh, imposters and impersonators. So folks, uh, moving on, quickly we'll see uh, how the GDP will come up now for the global GDP, which has been seen about two or three trillion loss every year since 2020. Uh, now 2022 going forward, if the recovery is there, then it should be better. Also, uh, next very important thing which is going on right now is the gun control and the ghost guns. So Biden uh, yesterday was very pleased to announce the new rulings because this is definitely, folks, a big uh, menace. And this is going to be the first thing the organized criminals in America would like to have hands on ghost guns. So these guns are basically produced by the 3D printers and they are available all across the uh, internet world where they can download the schema and they can simply develop at their home and or these uh, big organizations, the cartels or you can say the mafia can develop these guns and they can deliver it uh, online sales or to everybody. And this is the problem because it doesn't have any license, it doesn't have any serial number, there's nothing, there's no trace, no tracking, and that's a big problem. So the regulation has been put in effect by Biden administration recently. It's a good step. I applaud this step. Uh, the gun violence should be controlled. Uh, recently also uh, there were many instances of violences, uh, gun violences in the U.S. Also it's going on over here in India as well and uh, even over here in uh, local uh, where I live. Sas Nagar Mohali, we saw it uh, two, three days back. There was gun violence uh, neighborhood, which is phase five, and they're still tracking out which organized criminals are threatening normal every citizens or lack of uh, you know gunshot uh, violence should be avoided. So moving on, folks, uh, ahead I see for April that it's going to be very uh, different joyride. Uh, you will see a lot of uh, fluctuations in the stock market, uh, but on the positive end. Uh, after the April, May, we should see something going on in the stock market because Ukraine war, Russia war has to come to some conclusion, folks. This is this can't be going on forever. Russia will be deciding very soon. I think two weeks are very critical. And if we see some big move ahead from Russia, then Ukraine uh, would be in a problem or else I think Ukraine is resisting well. And I give all the kudos how the... Uh, Zelensky, President Zelensky, has been uh, requesting the world community to help. A lot of arms and ammunition have been flowing to Ukraine. A uh, lot of refugees crises are there, folks. I understand this is a humanitarian crisis, and uh, all I can say is uh, everybody should uh, uh, welcome with open arms these refugees. You know, if I tell you I'm always there, open, you can contact me. If there is a problem, I can always register a family or so. And this is something which every world community should open arms and uh, let the refugees come and settle down till the time this war is settled. Because something has to come out of this war. Uh, even if the Russia has to go with some uh, dialogue, some truce, or some uh, back off, or some, uh, you can say, pause, then it's a good step. But if it continues for a little bit more while, I think then the big players will move in, which is my prediction. So UK, Australia, Canada, uh, US will all start moving in, Fox, in a big time. So it's just a matter of two or three more weeks, uh, sit, sit back, relax, and see how it moves on. So anyways, folks, this is going to end my session. It's already taken almost uh, 18 plus minutes, and I'll sign off now, and you can watch the ahead rest of the series in the uh, screenshots form, which is going to cover a lot of topics. Uh, so for now, I sign off. It is about 12.22 hours UDC, April 12th. 2022. Okay, bye. This is Surinder G. Singh. I'm signing off, folks. Take care. Have good mind, body, spirits.